Hello gamers, uh, Pat here, welcome to another Unity asset uh, preview, review, uh, however you want to call it. Uh, I'm just going to show you uh, this time Gaussian Blur. Uh, I was tasked on uh, trying to find, if, if you've ever played The Division, they have the this uh, world space UI and they use the blur as a background for the elements, right? And it looked kind of nice and... Um, I actually started to look on the Unity Asset Store for some decent blurs and there aren't really that many but we finally settled at uh, Gaussian Blur developed by Flying Banana uh, so yeah let me actually show you what uh, what you get inside this package basically it's uh, it's this folder that has those two the two actual shaders it's this is, this is the normal blur uh, this is the HQ blur that's a little bit higher quality in case you see some weird edges around uh, especially if you use a strong um, um, a, a strong strength for the blur uh, you have the manual and this is the example scene that I've just loaded right now it also has this you know small script that basically uh, let me actually unplay since it seems that I was in play mode I don't know why <laughs> but basically this is the demo scene uh, and you have um, this uh, you know beautiful cubes around and if i press the shortcut keys you see that we have blur applied to this uh this well it looks kind of like a like a glass right now but it's uh, basically a 3d object that has the material that has you know the blur and we have this ui that basically has this uh these settings where you can set up the strength as you can see here and the vibrancy so anyway this, this, this is just a demo scene uh, and if we are going to look uh, closely at the the material itself, this is the material that is being used uh, uh, right on this uh, glass shader. As you can see, it's just uh, it's just a 3D cube that was being that was stretched, and uh, it, it it has this UI blur uh, shader. So basically, you have a tint color where you can actually uh, change the tint of this uh, whole thing. You know. Uh, then you also have the spacing, as you can see here. Pretty beautiful, and you also have the vibrancy, which you know how vibrant everything is. You have, you you can set up the uh, the texture, as you can see. We have this drawing over here, and uh, you can set up the tiling and so on. So basically, uh, this is it. Uh, let me actually show you how this. Uh, this, uh, this is the canvas and if we go to the panel itself as you can see it's uh, it's an actual canvas uh, that has uh, this uh, panel applied here and we have an image and this actual image has uh, this blur HQ uh, being set up and if we don't select any material as you can see it's just the normal white that you know how, how it looks blur uh, but basically it's it's like this it's kind of z fighting here but when you press play it looks uh, good because one thing that you need to remember and you need to be sure because i had some problems here and you know i had to go back to the basic when i remember is basically the short order over here of the canvas uh, you need to be sure that you play with it so that way your background uh, blur it's not overlaying um the text and other stuff that you have uh, depends on the context i can't really show you exactly what i mean by now but basically i had like a world space ui that was popping up and i i actually had you know kind of like a, another an outside way on how i was placing this and it was kind of like weird on how the blur was basically even even that i placed the blur behind the text since it was in world space right uh, when I was looking, you know, like over here, I could still see the text being blurred and I basically had to set up the um, The sort order of the canvas <laughs> Something to keep in mind now uh, In my opinion, the, the blur shader looks uh, pretty awesome. It's very uh, affordable uh, It's not really recommended to be used on mobiles because it's a pretty expensive shader when it comes to performance uh, another problem that I had uh, but maybe it was for me this blur shader didn't work on VR it had kind of like a weird artifact where it was like like I was seeing two cameras, something like that, but actually seeing them. And it was a little bit weird. 
but besides that pc wise it works perfectly but on vr it's weird hopefully it's maybe it's going to be fixed in the future or maybe it was something on my end so if if you guys by any chance are uh, you know are buying this uh this uh plug in uh, give it a go and uh, for vr if you have one and tell me what you did to make it work so anyway this is it uh, kind of a short uh, video uh, let's see what uh, tomorrow will bring on don't forget to go to gamerpad.com where i also put uh, stuff about uh, video games and about other unity assets including some uh, tutorials and if you liked uh, this video uh, click the link in the description if you want to check up uh, uh, this asset so thank you guys uh, see you soon goodbye